Breaking news, his hub invades Nigerian University Hostel, arrests male and female students found in same room. I don't understand what's happening in this country. These are university students. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not condoling any acts of indecency. If you meet them in the same room, were they naked? Were they doing something? Could it be a sister went to visit her brother? Could it be a, 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 a cousins? Could it be cousins visiting themselves? Why do you guys have this mindset that when you see a man and a woman, there is something going on? Can you see that this, listen guys, if you are from the north, I'm sorry to say, but I'm just, you know, pointing out an opinion. There is seriously an oppression going on. And this whole Sharia law does not amount, it does not affect some people, it affects some people. Not too long ago, at Apple Line Media, we reported to you that one of the leaders of this same set group of people, this hisab, that I'm, that I'm enforcing the Islamic uh, uh, law or the Sharia law, so to say, yes, their leader was found with a married woman in a hotel. Do you know that we've not heard anything about, about, that, about that matter up to today? If it's somebody else, that woman would have been stoned to death or the man would have been whatever it is. Can you see that the law favors some people and demerits others? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you. Ishab invade Nigerian University hostel, arrest male and female students found in the same room. The manner in which university students live their life in hostel is really questionable, considering the fact that there have been many reports about sexual, com sexual commitment between male and female students. According to Sahar reporters, the Hisab operative invaded university hostel, arrest male and female students found in the same room, despite the fact that it is against the policy of the university. Based on that, based on what Sahar reporter broad reporters broadcasted, the students of the invaded university were in vigil through the night out of fear of the peculiar operation carried out by the Hisab operation. The Hisab operatives have been acting against the opinion of many people, especially those living in the southern Nigeria, forgetting the fact that they are carrying out their operative based on Islamic perspective, not everybody's belief. Few minutes after Sahar reporters broadcasted that the Hisab arrested students, many Nigerians shared their thoughts views and opinion concerning this rubbish going on what is their what is their what is their problem this is this is a serious menac facing the country now with a level of insecurity these people should be able to form vigilante and protect their people rather they are going around arresting husbands and wives who told them that these people are not married for the fact that they are in school does not mean that they've not been given away by their parents Another one said the same people that don't want state policing system are practicing it in, in disguise of a religion, keeping quiet. This Nigeria is a scam. This is very disheartening. Somebody else said this cannot, this, this, if you cannot abide by the law of Sharia land, it is not by force. Tell them you are not one of them. My brothers, my sisters, leave the north to their cheap deceit and lies. They only bring these laws heavily on the poor and vulnerable. They do not bring it upon themselves. They themselves cannot keep to the terms and the laws of Sharia. Another one said this is indirectly Buhari Islamizing the Nigeria. Gradually, it will begin to penetrate to other regions. Hypocrisy. Where is, the, where is the human right under Nigerian law? Buhari's government is a scam. Somebody has said within their very eyes, this country is being Islamized and gradually we are watching things deteriorating from one level to the other. What is their business? Do you, is it against the university uh, policy for them to come into the university and start doing this? However, they are doing it. Can you see what's going on? My people, if we keep quiet and allow this to continue to happen, we are throwing ourselves under the bus because this government will do nothing to help the situation on ground. Attorney General of the Federation, uh, what's the name of the other one? They were found in a scam where they paid a particular amount of money. Do you know that, guys, whether you believe it or not, Buhari is not 
mentally, in a mental capacity, stable to be able to rule this nation. How do I mean? Just yesterday, okay, from the presidency, a law broke, a, 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 a secular broke out that Buhari's driver, one of Buhari's driver, tricked him, okay, into signing, um, into signing a, a, a fraudulent, you know, contract, which is going now into millions. And the person is now with DSS. Excuse me. If, and they said the person took advantage, that Buhari driver took advantage of Buhari's uh, dementia. So, a man with dementia is the person ruling the nation. Now, get me right, I'm not condemning anybody that has any mental uh, problem or the other. No, no, that's not the focus. The point is, a man with dementia cannot rule a nation. Why? He's forgetful. He cannot articulately put together what can actually govern the people. And so, he should have relinquished power straight up, straight up to the vice president of the country. But guess what? They will not do it. I repeat, they will not do it. Why? Because they don't. They will tell you the north is their turn and they must rule. No matter what happens, they must rule. They must rule. They must rule. It's not. The, it's not what we are saying today. Is the country, Nigeria, moving forward? It's not a matter of uh, who who is ruling now or who is not ruling now. Nigeria is in a position where we must all speak up and speak up. Nobody can be quiet in the face of what is currently happening in this country. No way. We cannot fold our arms and allow ourselves to be thrown into the dish. This is what is happening now. Invading of our land's property and everybody is keeping quiet. Buhari is incapacitated. He cannot rule the nation, yet everybody keep quiet and pretend like nothing is happening. What a sad reality that even those who can speak are quiet in the face of this advert oppression going on. It is sad, very sad. Nigerians, wake up. Wake up to reality check that evil is going on in our society and um, nobody is saying anything. We must all rise up and say the truth as it is and do not allow this to continue to happen. You have a voice. Do not allow yourself to be intimidated. Speak up. Let us rise up to the truth and let us say it as it is. Please leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.